Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I'm playing The Simpsons Hit and Run for the Nintendo GameCube, but before I get into that, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite IP-based video game from the PS2, GameCube, Xbox era? This is a top contender for me. Now, of course, there were a lot of video games based off movies and television back then, and the vast majority of them were absolutely hot garbage. So on the flip side of that question, also tell me which one do you think was the worst? Put that down in the comments, let's have a conversation. There's a few reasons why I'm choosing this game for my channel. It's retro enough. It's 20 years old now. September 16th, 2003 is when it came out. All right, Zip one. it, Bart. Uh, I'm a veteran. I know what I'm doing. Only somebody my son, in the house. who is five and years old, he has been begging me to do videos on this game pies. because... Uh, he saw me playing it, Probably and he that. heard Homer complaining about having a wedgie, and he thought that that was just absolutely hilarious. So he's literally been begging me since then. Say, Dad, I'll watch you. I'll watch him over and over again if you do Simpsons Hit and videos. And so I decided I would. And now, if he doesn't watch him, he's grounded. You hear that, son? Grounded. Now, there are plenty of other reasons. For example, I myself grew up in the 90s. And even though this game is 20 years old, the show is even older. It came out in like 1989 or something. And uh, so it's been a part of my life. Oh, hi, Apu. Hey, Apu. It's Give been a, a part of my I life another bucket of ice cream with for as long pie. as I can remember. To the ice cream I used to wait, you know, every week to watch Ooh, new episodes of it, watch reruns with my brother whenever they came on. And, um, you know, now as an adult, I can relate to Homer because I'm getting fat and my hair's getting thin. And, uh, I fall asleep on the couch early. Well, not the couch, the chair. He sleeps on the couch, I sleep in a chair. You know, we're not totally the same. Not only do I have a lot of nostalgia for The Simpsons, but I have a lot of nostalgia for the GameCube, too. Of course, this game was available on GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. Came out later the same year on PC or whatever. But uh, I had the GameCube version. I had a GameCube when I was a teen. I bought my GameCube. It was my first console that I ever bought with my own money. And I absolutely loved that thing so much. And I was devastated when it broke, and then I ended up buying another one. And uh, it's so I have a lot of a lot of memories with A, the GameCube, and B, the Simpsons, and so of course it's just a perfect fit for a retro nostalgia-based channel. Where am I gonna put all but these? Other things that I really love about this game, it's kind of hilarious. Hey, There's say, like little no. comments constantly <laughs> as you're driving around having fun, and uh, each character says different silly stuff. Which is, you know, just adds depth to the game. Makes it a lot more fun. Plays well for its age. A lot of games from this era maybe didn't age that well. This one, I think it's not. That it's like, oh, it's done so overly well. I think it's just simple enough that it plays well. The camera controls aren't horrible. It works pretty good. Oh, I forgot my mission. Most of the controls are pretty responsive, I would say. Like, uh, I haven't had any issues controlling Homer so hey, far. He's gone wherever I needed him to, done what I needed him to do. Hey, where's the gold? Done what I needed him to do. Pardon. It was a fig. It was modeling clay. <laughs> oh. By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Oh. Work. Blech. In your face. I gotta work in the morning. That's gonna suck. Also, uh, you do a lot of driving in this game. The driving is really tight, even though it's like cartoony and silly and unrealistic. It's just done very well, I think. The controls are great. And it's fun. It feels like you're going fast. It's not like you're moving around at a snail's pace. And, uh, there's also like, 
I think the 20th or 22nd, something like that, Simpsons video game. And I think it's the best. The only other one that I have played that came close was Road Rage. And it's not quite as good because, you know, you're always on a timer, you can't just free roam. And free roaming Springfield is awesome. Getting to explore Springfield. That's probably one of the highlights of this game because it's this awesome place that you know of because of the TV show. And when it's in a TV show, you only get to see, you know, certain parts and only when they show it to you and stuff. And then, like, they released the Road Rage game. It was like, oh, I can run around Springfield, but you're on a timer and you have to go to certain places. So missing quite a bit. But not this game. You can go all over the place and it is super cool. Not only that, there's also lots of references to the show. Like, for example, I'm about to go talk with uh, Ned Flanders, well, who is one of my favorite characters because he's such I'm a goofball. A so many of my there's a, uh, a, like a the metal band the called Oakley Doakley, who sings metal songs based off of kind incidents, of incidents from The Simpsons. Oh, no. um, I borrowed all of Flanders stuff and they all dress up as Ned Flanders, which uh, just me, adds to the depth of amazingness of that band. Some corn. All right, Homer, let's go shuck some corn elsewhere. Sweet. Now, this game, I think, stacks up pretty well on its Ouch. own, but My compared to other games of the era, I still think it holds up pretty good. It's got kind of a short storyline, but that's okay. You know, other games that same time that were similar that had a Reckless lot longer story, be like Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. Um, you know, of course, later on would be San Andreas, which were all really great. I think it's really easy to draw comparisons between this and Grand Theft Auto. It's just like a less violent, more cartoony version. And, uh, you know, you get to drive around, you can take cars, you can kick people, you can... You know, break crates and birthday. vending machines like you well, see in the background there. Back. Now what will I use for a toilet? <laughs> the idea of Barney shitting in that cooler and then I gotta go give it back to Flanders is just too good, honestly. I have road rage and I know how to use so, it. So like I said before, there were a lot of IP based games or that's games Almost based done. off of television no, movies, stuff teacher, like that, uh, that sucked well, back I then. I and uh, one of the things that really sticks out was a little bit older, but uh, the South Park game on Nintendo 64, I used to okay, think that that one. game was amazing. I, I thought it was so fun and, and hilarious, and same with South Park Rally. Truck. And then I played them later on in life, and they didn't hold up. I mean, they aged like fucking milk. Especially the actual South Park game. Like, that's... Like, your main enemy is turkeys, and then eventually aliens, but mostly turkeys, which is kind of weak. Whereas, at least, like, South Park Rally, there was more references, and it's like racing and stuff, which is always redeeming in my book. But then, uh, as far as closer to this era goes, um, like, another TV show that I loved that had a video game was Ed and Eddie had a game called The Misadventures. Oh, yeah. the and, and it was fun. Flanders, look, <laughs> Stretch the legs in the stuff. crotch, he says. Now, about the reward. <laughs> Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. A prayer <laughs> from the Lord's number one fan. Thanks. Our Thanks, Father Ned. in heaven, bless this noble oaf. Stupid Flanders <laughs> getting happiness He insulted from me religion. in his prayer. What a dick. Anyways, uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie had their own video game called The Misadventures, and it was, like, fun enough, but it was pretty lazy and chopped, like, the controls were not great. I just remember, I beat it, but I remember it being, like, I, w I spent the whole time wishing that it was done better. I just felt like they rushed it together to be like, oh, kids love it at Netty right now, so let's get this game out, which I know is probably really common. You'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny. Gotta go see Lenny. So anyway, what I was saying about uh, comparing this game to Grand Theft Auto, it's literally like... Ow, my head! 
the same kind of thing. It's an open world game. You can run around, go to different parts of town and stuff. You can beat people up. You can break things, take money, collect money, buy stuff. You know, get different cars. You just can't shoot people or kill people. But you can hit people with a car, which is just as good, in my opinion. No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm going to need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm going to take him out. The Plow King. Well, Barney still has the Plow King. Hmm. I think I need some money. Good thing I know where there's some crates and Ooh, some vending machines. Yeah, see all that? I'll have 150 coins before you know it. I really don't mind, uh, like I said, this game has a short storyline, but it's got a ton of collectibles. And uh, I'm going to avoid those collectibles for the most part in these mainline videos. And then later on, maybe as like bonus videos, we'll do like uh, where the collectibles are and what you get if you get them all. But um, Barney, I'm not going to worry about that. And bog want, down and make these leprechaun. videos longer looking for that stuff. That but, you know, you have oh, cards, whatever. wasp cameras, gags, vehicles, clothes, all sorts of stuff that you can find in each level and Let's do this thing. you have to like break the wasp cameras that Mr. Burns is using to spy on you and the rest of the town of Springfield. Mr. Burns, he's always been one of my favorite characters because he's just such an evil piece of shit. Oh, out of control. You're out of control. I think, um, compared to other games from back then, this one definitely had, like, that cartoony, like, childish feeling, so you could still go do all this freaking heathen-like shit, but your parents weren't sitting there like, hey, what are you killing that prostitute for, and stuff, you know, like, if you were playing Grand Theft Auto. So you could get away with it, you know, they weren't breathing down your neck. Not that mine really did, they didn't. Really I'm a two shits, but speed thingy. I still, you know, <laughs> even they would think it was a little bit nasty, the stuff we were doing on Grand Theft Auto, but that's a them problem. I grew up and turned out just fine. Listen, oh, lady, I don't care God, how scared and disoriented you are. I'll run you over again, I'm sure. Come here! This is <sighs> Took you down. I just waxed an undercoated. I remember also, like, I think it was the Simpsons skateboarding. I never had that, my cousin had it. He brought it over to my grandma's house one time. I played I it quite a bit over. with him, and it wasn't very over. good, but it was still fun because, you know, you were the Simpsons and you got the skateboard. One of the things I'll never forget is uh, playing as Chief Wiggum okay, and wrecking, and he, he'd like come over and like get on his radio and he'd be like, Officer down, officer down. Or uh, <laughs> there's this other thing he'd say, um, Oh, well, we got a 210 in progress officer on his ass. And it was just silly little, you know, dirty jokes and funny stuff like that. But this still beats it by a long shot. I love that um, you can find some of the main characters from the TV show scattered around. You can, like, have a more detailed conversation with them. And though your character will just say some generic bullshit, they'll say you know, a bunch of random stuff that is stuff they would say and makes them funny. The Alright, to my workstation. Oh, god damn it. Why did I do this? Why did I go down here? Vengeance my workstation, stupid. <sighs> Can I make this jump? Oh. Oh. Save me, Duff Man! Yeah, save me, Duff Man. Ow! My neck! <laughs> God damn it. But Austin powers this gosh. bitch. Hey. Man, 
I am yawning a lot because it's the middle of the night, tired as hell, and I gotta work in the morning. I gotta get up early and make sure that it's safe for I the school buses, camera? you know. Oh, sexy girls could be watching me on the internet! Stupid cameras, you should be smashed. It hasn't snowed in days, so I know it's gonna be fine, but yet I still have to get up early and check. Piece of cake! Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm a cake. <laughs> Stupid like a box! What's this do? Kick the shit out of that box. We'll clean this mess up later. If you're so smart, how so, come I broke you? Uh, earlier today, I caught this on my YouTube channel. I, uh, I like anyone likes had my last things. two videos, which were the last two videos oh, from Mega Man X. Both <laughs> cracked Stupid over like 200 a views a piece, which probably doesn't seem like that much to anybody who's, you know, been around the block a time or two that's like, oh, 200 views is nothing. But to me, it's absolutely massive, and I'm so excited that I got those 200 views, and I hope that, you know, this video performs even a fraction of that well, because I'm changing my game, and, you know, going from 2D to 3D, going from a, a rather, god damn it, bear with me, going from a rather serious game to a rather silly game, but, you know, that's what this channel's all about, is revisiting the nostalgia of gaming in the 90s, 2000s, and, you know, I, I'll, I'll definitely play games that are before my time, too, because I did play them when I was a kid, but I do like anyone play likes games that I've things. played before. Dingy goes up. Oh, yeah. Don't know why I pressed that button. <laughs> stupid like a box. Yeah, stupid like a box. Chest pain! Finally, I can get some sleep. <laughs> Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. Ow! Oh, that was too easy. Let's roll. So I really need to know, if you've watched this far into the video, what is better? Is it better when I go around and I cut out all of the little dead parts? Or is it better if I just do like a casual playthrough and, you know, don't erase any of the content unless it's like overly repetitive and boring bullshit? Like if I die to the same boss a million times or something? You know, obviously I'm gonna delete that out, but otherwise, like, you know, should I be erasing the parts where I'm driving from one part of Springfield to the other, or is that fun to watch? I want you guys to tell me because Hello, you I'm not sure. Me personally, I think it's fun. I like to. God damn it! I like to just hang out, have a conversation, talk. Mm, didn't make it. That's okay something I've been, like, going back and forth on, not sure what to do. Oh, delete all the extra footage, or keep it in, and, you know, just chat. When I delete all the extra footage, it definitely makes it harder to just have a casual, like, oh, I'm just talking about, you know, like, my kids and stuff like that, because it's like, well, is this piece going to end up getting cut out, and then, like, the story I'm telling isn't going to make any sense? That would kind of ruin the whole thing. So, just kind of, you know, putting the feelers out there, see what you guys think. Try and, you know, come up with stuff to say for as much of the video as I can. And I take myself some little notes and, you know, these are the things I want to say. But usually I, I write them down. I'm like, oh, this will take me, you know, 20, 30 minutes. But then it takes me like five to ramble through it famous bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, oh, where Mayor yes. Quimby is fielding I questions from who, an angry mob. Who could have These done miniature this? cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders oh, when I say, where is the sexy footage? 
In <laughs> other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. There's one right what? there. That black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Whoa, easy lady. Here's another. Here's another question I'm gonna drop on you guys, the audience. It's crashing time. How old does a game need to be before it's retro? Because there are other games that I'm like, oh man, well, I played this a long time. time ago. It'd be really fun to play it. But then I look at it and I'm like, oh, maybe it wasn't as long ago as I thought. Like for example, um, I didn't do it. South Park: The Stick of Proof. I started playing that again recently, and mind you, I hundred percent of that game. I was like, oh, this game, I have so many good memories, this game's so old. And then I looked at it, I was like, the game's only like from 2014, which isn't that long. It's not even, you know, well, it's coming up on 10 years, but, like, is that old enough to put on the channel? Would you guys want to watch The Stick of Proof? That game's funny as all hell. Come on. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, he goes through the trailer park, though. Anyway. Just wanted to kind of drop that feeler out there. Obviously, like, I'm also going to play very old games like some Mario and stuff, but, you know, how new is too new? That's what I want to know. Tell me what you think on that. Just hoping to, you know, produce videos that you guys want to watch oh, no, coming into the new year. Oh man, god damn it. Let's go, Homer. Are you sure? Watch it. I should have just dedicated to it. That's okay. I'll catch him. He's driving a large black van and I'm driving a small pink car. I, I know I'm faster than him. I love driving through like <laughs> just driving through dripping toxic waste and nuclear power plant. Ah, he'll be fine. Zomer Simpson. It's time to get to the bottom of this. Who could it oh, be? Oh, Mr. Burns is behind all the that. Evil spying is so like him. That wrinkled old monkey skeleton. <laughs> I'm gonna what? use that. Call somebody a wrinkled old one. monkey skeleton. The grocery store. <laughs> It's nice to get those wrenches. It fixes your car. You can blow up your car. I, blame I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, I took an unnecessary turn, didn't I? Yes. Yes, I did. That's okay. Marge! Here we go. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new Marge video is busy. Game has hit the she streets. wants you to be a sanctimonious bitch. It warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. It does, Homer. Should be destroyed. No. I guess. <sighs> Marge, what is wrong? Marge with Simpson, you? at your service. Sweet. Boring. Though I do like you boring in this video. Taking the video games. Oh, I am so embarrassed. You should be, Marge. You should be embarrassed. But, no time for that now. We gotta go ram the shit out of this okay, van and seal crates full of video games. My bad! Cautiously, wildly accelerating! I don't know about y'all, but, uh. Marge is probably not my favorite character. I don't hate her or anything. I, just, I don't think she's as funny as like Homer and Bart. Are. I think Bart might be my top favorite. Well, hmm, might, Bart might have been my favorite when I was a kid. As an adult, it might be Homer because I relate so much to Homer nowadays. Though I don't strangle my children like Homer does. Are you blind? Who 
but I definitely get frustrated with them. You can ask me. I don't make it any secret. I'm a father of five. I got a lot of kids. And probably aging me very quickly, but that's okay. I love my kids. They're, they're worth it. My son, he's so funny and he's so good at video games, it's just ridiculous. He's only five years old, he plays Nintendo Switch Online, and uh, he was playing the bowling on there, and he bowled like a 270, playing against other like real people who are genuinely pretty competitive, and it's like, yeah, you guys know this is a five-year-old whooping your asses at Nintendo Switch Sports. Bart, you know I abhor crazy plans. He's like ranked I'll super high in volleyball on there. It's wild. He's just like good at that kind of stuff. It's funny because like this, there's just differences, you know, between all, all your kids, right? And there always will be. My, um, my oldest daughters are like super athletic and Can stuff. Can you come and get me? And then my middle back, child, who's another daughter, she's more like, um, into art, music stuff, singing, things like that. She likes sports, but you can tell that like she really loves to create things. And then my boys, they're both just wild and funny and athletic. But, you know, athletic for a little. Like, my two-year-old, he, uh, well, he's not even Nothing two yet. He's, like, forever. almost, not even almost two. Oh. One and some odd months. Like, one, more than one and a half. He uh, shoots hoops, like he likes to play basketball with his little kid basketball hoop, but he doesn't want you to just like make sure he makes it. Like, you gotta try to stop him from making it so that it's fun for him. We call it playing defense. That was started by the five-year-old. He calls it defense. But uh, those boys are both good at that kind of stuff. I keep trying to tell my... Um, second oldest daughter that she should do a YouTube channel but she refuses to do it. She plays the Sims and she's super good at it. Does all sorts of neat stuff on there but she's just too good to be a YouTuber, apparently. I'm not a bad hey, Homer. You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger. Speaking of YouTubers, I want to give Finish a shout out Black well, good to thing a good drunk. YouTube drunk. buddy of mine, oh, no. Mazophobia. I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. A kid that I know is maybe my Let's maybe my daughter's thing. boyfriend, but he's cool as heck. I like him. Oh Jesus, Smithers, you piece of shit. Anyways, he's cool as heck, and he's trying to get his channel off the ground. He plays more competitive games than I do. He's a good kid, so if you're into like Fortnite things like that, check him out. It's Mazophobia. Are he's still pretty small, so he can be hard to find, but he's worth it. Good kid, too. Ah! Alright. Smithers. Dust, dust Fuck. Are you shitting me right now? Legit Austin Powers maneuver here. Good Keep lord. You know, earlier I raved about how the racing, or the driving, pardon, the driving in this game was so good, and now here it is, fucking me over. It's alright. Fortunately for me, Smithers is a worse driver than I am. Through the cemetery, Homer. Uh, yes. I liked that when I got here. Two, four, six, eight, you suck, I hate, da, 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 you are the one I hate. <laughs> You tell him, Nothing Homer. Lasts forever. <laughs> I love the depth oh, of like, how many vehicles there are in this game. You can get like Homer's green car and stuff, which is pretty slick in my opinion. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, fuck. That's will okay. Be mine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat him. And then Stand this target. is the end of the first mission. Now I get to play the part. You see what I'm saying? Short story mode. It has been almost 30 minutes and I'm almost done with the first mission. There's only seven missions. So. We'll definitely beat this series. 
well, turn this into a series, beat this game. Over the bridge! Come on, there you go, it burns! Wait a minute, that was an insult! Smithers is fixing a tail on me. There you are. No, you man. dirty old bastard. Hey man, what's See your problem? Burns, like? I know you're guilty. Accused! Sir? Fine, I admit Sir. it. I had Amelia Earhart's plane shot down. That hussy was getting too big for her jodhpurs. No! You're <laughs> spying on Springfield with your black vans and surveillance what? cameras. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? What? No, sir. They're I think you know better man. than that. I'm a class five idiot. Smithers, release the hounds. You're not an idiot, Homer. This You're a good, of the a good man. Fire him at once. Everyone sucks right. but me. So as you can see, like I said, there's bonus missions, street races, collector cards, character clothing, vehicles, wasp cameras, gags. But otherwise, just remember one thing. The odds of being attacked by Homer in his underwear may be pretty low but they're never zero percent don't worry that should heal fast see you guys in the next video